Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm in Cibolo, Texas, because I have a military client PCSing into Fort Sam, and this community is about a 25 minute drive from Fort Sam, which in this town, that's uh, a really good distance. Uh, well, preferred distance. Anyways, this house is built in 2004. It is a Pulte home, but they've done a lot of upgrades on it. And the client, the seller's asking right at $300,000 for it. So uh, we were in the Bray, Braywood, let me get that pronounced right, Braywood subdivision. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, a little bit about this uh, area. This is, I consider it Shirt Cibolo because the two cities are kind of intertwined. I literally live like two blocks from here. I love the area, plenty of shopping, plenty of conveniences to everything. We have like the new Evo and Santigo right down the road. Great schools, uh, the Shirt Cibolo ISD are some of the best. Randolph Air Force Base is literally around the corner. You can hear them uh, starting their training right now. Um, but it's a really great community, convenient to really everything. New Braunfels is just down the road to the north and uh, San Antonio is just to the south. So uh, yeah, let's go check out this house. It does have some beautiful oak trees right in front of the house. You can tell they have replaced the shingles on the roof at least one time in this house lifespan because, well, Pulte don't put those type of shingles on it. They do have a ring doorbell. They've repainted this house with some interesting colors. Well, some pretty nice colors, making it a little more up to date because, yeah, this house was built in 2004. And it is 2294 square feet, so yeah, 2300 square feet. All right, when you come in, you can tell they have upgraded the floor with some really nice ceramic tile shingle, no, tiles. And this is one of the paint colors they chose. They went black all the way around in this room. Lots of light in here. You can tell they tried to do some touch up paint, but uh, kind of picked the wrong sheen. You can't put a satin sheen on a flat color. So lesson learned folks, uh, check that sheen. Some touch up still needing there too. All right, you come around the corner and they have carried on the uh, black painted doors with the grays. You do have two, bed, uh, two more bedrooms back here. Good size bedrooms, eh, kind of okay size bedrooms. I wouldn't say good size. With, uh, now that's a, that's a better size closet there. You do have a shared bathroom right up front. They have carried the tile work into the bathroom. It does have the lower sinks. And yeah, my bender doesn't work very well, so I'm not a fan of low sinks. This side, this bedroom's a little bit better sized. Carpets in gr good condition. And they definitely got a little creative with those uh, paint colors there. And let's see. Yep, tell this kid's room. You can definitely, you, you can see in the wall, kind of need some uh, repainting here. Uh, some information I've learned from the listing agent is this house has recently come back on the market not because there's things dramatically wrong, but I guess the previous buyer wasn't happy with a certain tree and the sellers don't want to make any chain, me any repairs in this house. So you do have a uh, nice laundry room right here. So what that means is if you did get this house under contract and I still would recommend having an inspection done, but I would not count on the sellers doing any repairs. But this is a crazy market. A lot of times right now, they can do that because these sellers have all the power. 
because right now our market is nuts and there's no inventory available. But this is a really nice space here. And I did find out from the listing agent that when the house was on the market the first time, they did have four offers on it. So this round, expect more offers. There is some taping issues up here. You can see where the seams are. Uh, there's a little split there in the tape. That doesn't necessarily mean foundation issues. Sometimes just where those joints are, it uh, causes some taping, some uh, problems. But you do have a really nice breakfast nook right here. And something else to point out, they went with some type of backer that kind of looks like brick, but you can tell it's not because there's a little split right there too. So it does add some character, but just know what you're getting into. This, like I said, I think that's kind of a, just a little backer board. But something else that comes with this house that's kind of nice is a hot tub. And I like having my hot tub. And this, this is a nice, nice added feature for those folks who like to entertain. Let me get back here so I can get a better shot of this. They have built this little pergola here. They got the lights on it. And having a covered hot tub is really nice because you're not having to protect your cover a lot more. Now I haven't looked inside of it yet, so let's give it a look. They do have water in it, which is a good sign. It looks like it's a, I don't know if that's heated though. Nope, not turned on. That is not hot water. So, got a little mildewy sign, but it looks like it's in fairly good shape. But I'm not a hot tub repairman, so uh, I can't be an expert on that. But, you do have a, would have a neighbor with a pool. And I, uh, I always say pools are like horses. They're a pain in the butt to own, but it's great to have neighbors with them. And boats and all those other type of categories. Uh... You can tell that this owner of this house did have a dog. Looks like they have a setup back here for a little dog run so they can block it off. Uh, after our freeze, everybody's palms uh, took a hit, uh, including these palms. And that's what I, I need to use some of that in my house, kind of trim off the leaves. But I'll look at the roof there. More of an outdoor space. You can see where the dog likes to walk. Some trim work can be used, some, uh, some tender loving care. But I really like this pergola and they've got the plugs for it and the fans. I'm a big uh, sit outside and entertain kind of guy, so that's nice to have. All right, checking out the kitchen here. Cabinet's looking pretty decent shape. Could use a little touch up paint, but not bad. Samsung appliances. Do like the black stainless steel, a very nice look. Definitely matches the pattern they have with the house. I haven't looked at the MLS sheet, so I don't know if the refrigerator is included. Ah, good size corner pantry. They have, they do have like the Corian countertops, uh, fancy sink. I do wish it was an undermount sink versus overmount. And if you've been watching my videos, you know my view on 50/50 sinks. Definitely like the uh, 60-40, 70-30s, or just one big sink. All right, we do have a space for a formal dining room. Like I said, the tiles carried through. Good lighting in here. They've got the windows open. Definitely like the light fixtures. 
And the family here is in the process of moving out, so. But like I said, good space for entertaining right here. Let's go check out the owner's suite. If it feels a little dark in here, it's because they've only got the one light and uh, just doing something different with this carpet could go a long ways for the brightening up this room. All right, let's check out the owner's suite. I do love what they did with the tile in here. Of course, this is not stock. So they did do that. And uh, that's a really nice soaking tub right there. They do put a little slide there so neighbors can't see all your bits and pieces while you're getting a ship bath. Good size shower right there. And like I said, this house was built in 2004, so you can see some of the style differences compared to how they build them now. And these are the lower sinks, so that, that's definitely a pet peeve of mine. Like I said before, my bender doesn't work very well, so having to bend over to brush your teeth and do everything is kind of a pain in the butt. Or well, more like pain in the back. They went creative. They carried that tile all the way in there and did uh, some interesting accent pieces there. Kind of like it. And then the closet. It's a good sized closet in here. Nice shoe rack. And for extra space, got places to hang ties. Jackets, hangers. final pano before I do my wrap up. All right, that's gonna wrap the tour. This house built in 2004 in the Braywood community in Cibolo, Texas. Love the area, love the convenience it is to everything. Randolph Air Force Base, not a bad drive to Fort Sam. Great shopping. Uh, Really good schools, lots of benefits living in the Shirt Cibolo area. If, and this house is priced right at $300,000. It's still not gonna last on the market very long because our market, like I said, is nuts. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and keep sharing with your friends. I'm a local real estate agent. I'm trying to grow my business and I'm hope, I am, well, yeah, I know these videos are helping because uh, you guys are keeping me busy, but I'm always open for new clients. So if you're in the market, remember buyers don't pay realtor fees. So don't go through this process alone. All right. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.